So we've talked about uh, fainting, we've talked about eyeball changing, we've talked about um, fluids of the head, we've talked about a lot of different things that microgravity in space affects on the human body. Um, but I think the, the, the stereotypical one we always picture is astronauts exercising. And, and we, we touch a little bit on the bone loss and that sort of thing, but what are the big reasons and big worries um, about bone loss in space as it relates to um, microgravity? And then in particular, also any muscle changes. So your muscles and your bones, they're really dependent on gravity. Um, when you're floating around in space, it's really easy to do nothing at all. You just float, you don't need to do any exercise at all. And people can lose 50% of their ma muscle mass in space doesn't really matter if you're not really doing much um, but what people care about a lot is their bones so to keep your bones strong you have to do weight bearing exercise you might have had some annoying doctor at some stage that you tell you, you need to do weight bearing exercise to make sure you've got healthy bones when you're older and the astronauts are constantly exercising to maintain their bones to be honest they don't care about their bones too much they're not going to fall over and break them because they're going to be up in space they'll break them when they come back down to earth and they can get good painkillers from doctors but in principle they could break their spine they could break their hips their characteristic fractures of people who have uh, low bone density the reason the astronauts care is because when you're up in space if you're losing your bone mass all that calcium from your bones goes somewhere it goes into your blood that blood's going to circulate around your body it's going to go to your kidneys your kidneys is going to try and filter out all of that calcium that was in your bones and it's going to put it into renal stones and the last thing you want is to be the person who's on the international space station passing a kidney stone apparently it's worse than childbirth <laughs>